oh, there's more dashboards or there's more features or there's like, there's notification icons that I'm like, oh, I just got to like turn that on. Welcome again to Genesis Nation. I am excited to have uh, with us Dr. Travis Arrington. Uh, he is a I don't want to say fledgling chiropractor, but you're a younger, you're a younger generation chiropractor. And I love, uh, you know, like I'm in the middle. I've uh, myself, you know, being with, with Genesis being in practice 20 years, I deal with a lot of chiropractors who are older and a lot of chiropractors who are younger. And, and it's awesome to see the younger generation of chiropractors having really diverse backgrounds. And that's what brings us here to this conversation. You're a Genesis user. You are a TRP client, correct? Uh, the Remarkable yep. Practice, and you're using our newly implemented dashboards. But before we dive into all that, um, tell me a little bit about the white bison. I want to hear that story. Yeah. So a couple things like the bison is a national mammal. So we're patriotic. So that was one of the one of the things that went into that is, is a little bit of American patriotism. Um, awesome. second thing is, is bison have an instinct that when a storm comes onto the plains, they actually will band together and face it head on and charge into that storm. They do that to find pasture grazing sooner. So use that as a metaphor that all of our clients that come in have challenges that they face that might be different mental, physical challenges. We encourage them to face that storm head on and find the abundance and good things on the other side. Wonderful. And the fact that it's white bison. Is the there white. actually such thing as a white bison or is that a there myth? There is, there is. Okay. So they're super rare. So the white bison in Native American culture represents that prayers are being answered, um, abundance is coming. And so um, there's a white buffalo calf woman legend that is partially painted on our wall in the office. Uh, can, awesome. Uh, I love it. I'm a, I'm a big, big fan of uh, Native American culture. And, and are you into Native American culture because of your own heritage or is it because you're in, I know you're in the heart of the mountains of Utah, uh, places where I like to ski actually. Um, so is that, is that part of you? And, and I want to dive into your wife's role in the practice as well, but where did that, that come from? Um, so to be totally honest, we, the, we, we found it at a, uh, natural grocery store in South Carolina. It was like a gift card. Nice. <laughs> I saw right, it, cool. it like resonated. I didn't even buy the card. I was like, took a picture of it and I was like, babe, this is like, this is cool. And it just kind of like struck a nerve. And then when we came to naming the practice, I was like, remember that card that we had? And like, it just ended up sticking. And then I had, when I was back in South Carolina a few months ago, I went and actually bought that same card at the same grocery store. Ah, nice. I was like, I got to go find that card because we named our whole business after that. And you can't, and, and this is like the beginning of your whole life here. And, and with, <laughs> right. you know, and you're so, so uniquely, uh, before we dive into the, the, um, you know, the technology aspect, you're in practice with your wife and your wife is a mental health therapist, she's a psychologist, uh, counselor, a what? Marriage and family therapist. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. So, um, you know, we, we've discussed this briefly in you creating a model around that, but can you share a little bit about your model and how you approach, because you have a well-being approach, which is, I think it's an awesome thing because just treating the body, you're missing out on the, the, the actual you know, the energy and the parts that are on the inside, how does that blend? Yeah. So, I mean, it's definitely been some learning of like how to communicate that and make it simple. Like basically the mind body approach that like your physical body affects your mental and your mental affects your physical. Um, we've recently created like a big six foot by four foot poster. That's going to be in the office that like actually maps all the levels of the spine neurologically, the physical effect, like a merit chart, but then there's also like emotional effects in those areas too, of like potential emotional things that they could be experiencing. So when people come in, like I had a, I had a client, her husband had committed suicide recently. <laughs> and, and I, you know, we, that came up in the case history and I was like, well, like you're in the right place. Like we deal with mental and physical stuff. And I'm working on a diplomate in addictionology and compulsive disorders, which also deals with anxiety panic attacks, depression, you know, things like that, kids on the spectrum. And awesome. as we talked through that, like um, Thanksgiving came up and I was like, Hey, do you have an action plan for Thanksgiving? Because holidays are always harder. This is the mental approach. Right. And yeah. she was like, like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, like, like, this is going to be more difficult. Like, do you have things in place? And like, you know, she has a therapist and I was like, okay, well, maybe talk to your therapist. Long story short, therapist wasn't able to meet with her. And then my wife was able to do like a quick intercession of like, hey, let's put together some resourcing and grounding tools to help you mentally through this time that's going to be more difficult. 
while you're also having your nervous system supported getting adjusted. Love so. it. I love it. So there's a physiological, physical, emotional, mental component to all that, you know, yeah. and uh, there's, I mean, that that's well-being. If, I don't think you can, you can put it together. So I'm, I'm really excited to see how this model um, expands for you and uh, also the challenges that you're going to face with it. And, and, you know, I'm, I want to be here as a resource for you as well. Um, so is your wife using Genesis as well? Um, so I didn't actually even wasn't aware that Genesis had the mental health capability, uh, when we decided to switch. So we're still exploring that, but she's not using it right now. So All right, cool. I'm putting, a, I'm putting a little pin in, in there because we have, we have the components that are available. So uh, I'm waiting um, for that email from Jason. Yes, you got it. Oh, shoot. This is recorded now too. So now it's gotta happen. Uh, so <laughs> what, what is your, your background, uh, be it, you know, before chiropractic, what is your background in? So I worked in sales and tech um, for about 10 years. So oh, wow. I started off in like the consumer sales door-to-door -door scene um, through college and then moved into software sales. So I worked in banking, finance, fintech, um, as well as doing some like home restoration software stuff for uh, fire flood mold contractors. Okay. Okay. So you have a very, um, I would say a very keen eye for software that's effective and software that is not because you were obviously selling it. So what is it, what is it that attracted you to Genesis? Um, you know, one of the, one of my early mentors in chiropractic school was like, if you ever hire a coach, he's like, don't try to like, don't try to reinvent or, you know, put your own ideas. He goes, just kind of like, just kind of do everything that they say and you're going to get the best result. He's like, and I was like, okay. And so I started coaching with uh, Dr. Malcolm Rudd at the remarkable practice. And I was having some pain points with my last system. And I was like, Hey, what system would you recommend? And he's like, Oh, Genesis is our power partner. So like, that's the only one we recommend. And I was like, done. <laughs> so I was like, that, that was it. So, um, and it's been like, I don't know. I don't think that there's any other system that's like tied in with the dashboards and everything else to like be able to track everything. It's just like super easy. So, um, yeah, it's been great. Well, you've you've been one of our our early champions of the dashboards, and and uh, you know, tech takes time to develop, as you as you know, and there are mistakes that are made. And you know, Genesis has been in the cloud since two thousand four, so we've made millions of mistakes and millions of dollars invested in figuring this out. So that's you know, that's a good thing where the cloud actually you know, because all the data is is traveling through the cloud, um, but. Tell me about your your use of the dashboards. If you can kind of break down some of the um, some of the KPIs that you're looking at on a daily basis as a as a business owner, and how's it helping you manage your business? Yeah, so looking at uh, I'm I'm still new to them and still you know tying that all together in the last few weeks. And we went over with our on my last coaching call with Dr. Rudd and just kind of glanced through, and it was like number of people on care plan, and then like the, the retention between your report of findings to like actually starting care. And the number of visits like after that, just like just kind of a retention standpoint, like those yeah. have been helpful to be like, oh, like what's my actual conversion and how long are people staying? And then after that first care plan, are they converting to like the second care plan? Some of that data is new because I don't have a long history of data inside of Genesis, but even just preliminarily, like there's value there that I can be like, oh, once, you know, with time, this is going to become more and more valuable to be able to check and be like, oh, this gives me insight into what area I need to train on or what. Yeah weak points are in the system. Like supply chain was a big interest for me. Like I am actually a business school major and went through the entrepreneurship program at BYU here in Utah and supply chain, like, you know, that Kaizen philosophy of like, Hey, what's the weak point in the system? And like having visibility into like not having to go crunch the numbers in Excel and just like, just see that on a dashboard and be like, Oh, it's just taking all the information that I'm doing normally on a daily basis as I'm doing my notes and plugging in people and then it's giving me all of this like insightful information that I can use and make strategic decisions on what to do to continue to grow the business. I love it. And it's, I, I love talking from a business perspective and it brings up for me, you know, having these dashboards really can decrease the cognitive load or the time load that it takes to look for this data. Right. Cause I, like before dashboards, I was, I was, you know, one of the critical points you brought up was the, you know, are we losing them on the phone? Are we losing them in the report of findings? Are we losing them after the first care plan? So you can look, 
using these dashboards, you're able to look at each stop gap and say, okay, here's where I got to do training. Here's where I need to improve my scripting or whatever, whatever that may be. Um, really, really powerful. So from a, let's see where, where, what, where do you see this going? Like what, you know, because you're new with the dashboards, what, what direction do you like, like where, where do you want to see these dashboards take you? Um, yeah, I mean, just knowing, knowing what the weak point is. Cause I think like, you don't know what you don't know, you know, yeah. and like, the dashboard helps you know that, right. It helps you like, helps you see that at all those different points. And, and, you know, from a retention standpoint, like I don't, like we do Facebook ads. And so like, I don't want to be like a burn and churn pain clinic where like we bring people in and then they're gone in two or three months, you know, it's like the education process and seeing where they're falling off, like has already started to change. Like that dashboard and feedback from it has like already started to change things that I'm like, Oh, I got to get on top of other things like the dirty dozen, which is also a tool that I can track inside of Genesis of yes, like, yeah, which is awesome educating on each visit of like, Hey, here's, here's these simple principles that you need to know about chiropractic so that you become a lifelong chiropractic patient and get the value of this for your life and for your family. Um, and prior to that, like, I, I wasn't even aware that that was like a missing link. And once I started doing it and like old patients that have been here for a while and they were like, Oh, I didn't know that the nervous system had to deal with chiropractic. And I'm like, <laughs> Like we've been talking about this for a year and like we've helped you right. stop smoking and all these things. And they're like, Oh yeah, I just thought you were dealing with the bones. And I'm like, man, I've, I've probably told them like 12 times, but, but you have to tell as, them everything. And, and as you know, it's like, you know, if we, if we could do distraction management for every one of our patients, uh, that would be a whole job in itself. Right. So they're getting constantly like, you, you know, the war for their attention. Um, so tell me uh, using the remarkable dozen, that's, that's another, um, element that, um, Genesis is implemented for TRP practitioners, people using uh, the remarkable practice coaching uh, coaching arm that allows you to uh, systematically educate your patients. And sh can you share a little bit about how you've used that with the system? Yeah. So um... <laughs> you're too new. Did I put you on the spot? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm going to put you. I'm going to put you on the spot. Oh geez, all right, man. <laughs> I'm not going to do a screen share. We're gonna we're gonna add this in after. No, this is done. Um, no, so the super note has the ability to track all that. Like I use the flex note, and so there's okay. not a direct way to track that as of yet. Um, we've, looked, we've explored a couple options that we haven't found one that works yet. So well, can, I'm gonna I'm gonna put another. There's a lot of asterisks on this asterisks on this uh, on this <laughs> interview, but it's okay because I know we gotta now we gotta dive into it. But you're you're one of our super users, so you know. So, and 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 for those of you listening here on Genesis Nation, we want to know what's not working. You know, because it's not necessarily like our software is awesome, right? And the foundation is amazing. It's really the people behind our our work. And it's not just, oh, yeah, we got cool people who can connect. We got people who are actually very, very targeted and focused on helping you doctors, um, you know, fix or or improve the system on a daily basis. Sorry, go ahead. That was a little uh, a little plug there. No, and, and the reason I even brought that up of being able to track it is because, like, you guys have already made customizations, like, for things that I brought up, like, in the last month that I'm like, yeah, it'll be there eventually. You know, I'm like, you, you like, I'm like, you'll, we'll figure out something like it, you know, tentatively right now, like it hasn't been figured out, but like, like it'll be figured out. So I'm like, I'm confident. I'm like, I'm not worried about that. Like, it's, so awesome. I um, love it. But yeah, like being able to, cause obviously people start at different points and like, you want to start from like one through 12 with the dirty dozen with remarkable practice. And so like, you know, like as I started using that and have a poster next to like my adjusting stations, like it was like, you know, when people started coming, you're like, Oh, did we go over number six last time? And just like being able to like quickly look at the note and be like, oh, they're on seven to 12. Great. Like next time we do eight of 12 and it just like automatically counts off like that visibility, just, you know, is just another easy thing. And then, you know, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, it'd be cool to like almost do a test of like how effective is the dirty dozen and like hmm. have a batch of patients that we track it on and have a batch of patients that don't. So that's like things that run through my mind of like how effective are these 12 principles at retention at that you know, that second care plan conversion. Like if I go through all of those 12, you know, twice through that initial care plan, and then we hit day two, like what's the conversion percentage if I had someone that 
didn't get talked to those 12 things about, you know, so like those are things that I think about that I'm like, am I wasting my words or, or is this actually converting? Into right. And, and every, every, every little element, every um, word spoken or click made is time. Right. So it's like, if we can decrease all those awesome. I love, I love the way you're thinking about this. So for, if you can share with some of our other listeners uh, who have maybe just joined Genesis or aren't using it to its full effect, um, how could you advise them? Yeah. I mean, dive in if you're, you know, I would say hop in with a, you know, your customer success manager and like see what other utilization tools you can have. Cause like there's, you know, each time I feel like I talk to you guys, there's like, Oh, there's more dashboards or there's more features or there's like, there's notification icons that I'm like, Oh, I just gotta like turn that on. So like, there's just like so many things that it's capable of doing and just like spending the time to like learn it is going to help expedite and make your practice more efficient. Um, which is ultimately like, you know, like work as a means to an end, right. You know, yes. it's like, yeah, it's not where you want to be 90 hours a week, <laughs> you know, yeah. like, yeah, and if you could cut, if you can cut that in, in way more than half, that would be fantastic. Right. Yeah, um, so docs out there, if, um, you know, if, if you're not aware of features that are available, this is where, you know, this is the type of platform, even though, uh, Dr. Travis and I are sitting here having a conversation about dashboards. It's also a reminder to you out there listening to this, that, you know, either call us, keep a, keep a look out on Facebook nation or excuse me, uh, Genesis nation on our Facebook page so that you're actually apprised of the, um, updates that are coming out as well as when we email you. Um, and if you are getting our emails, you know, please send us a response and say, Hey, I want to learn about this or we need that. So I'm always trying to find, be- um, you know, access points to our, to our people, because, uh, all of us are, you know, like I said, there's a war for our attention. So many of us don't want any more emails or texts or, or Facebook pings. Uh, we're trying to hide that. So, uh, what's next for you, man, in practice life? Yeah, just continuing to grow. So, you know, we're going to we're going to figure out some more stuff with Genesis here in another month. We've got a second doctor starting in January. And so, you awesome. know, get trained on that and figuring out how to run two schedules inside of the system and all of those things. So that was actually yeah. another part of the reason why we switched is because I know that's possible and makes that easy and sharing yeah. patients because we do kind of a dotted white line approach to to how we adjust people. So, you know, it's awesome. And then more visibility into you know, his stats and mine and just continuing to grow. So great. I'm going to keep, I'm going to make sure that we interview you maybe like six months from now or a year from now, uh, just so we can, I'm going to keep, I'm going to use as you start to build your own test through Genesis, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can test you and see where you're going six, six months or a year from now. Does that sound good? That's a good deal. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Dr. Travis, thank you very much for your time. Uh, any last words? No, I mean, Genesis has been great. It's definitely, uh, you know, I've referred a few few colleagues to it and, and they've been super impressed with how it's been. So, you know, I appreciate you taking care of the people I send over and just excited to be it. part of the team. And same with you, that referrals are the best way to, uh, you know, always as a practicing chiropractor, referrals are certainly the best type of patients to work on. Um, and we appreciate that too. So, all right, man, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. Have a good one. All right.